GDF9 is a gene that was originally discovered in Norway in 2013. It's believed it arrived in New Zealand with the pool of foundation tech cell ewes imported from Finland. Work on the gene by ag research scientists was funded by Beef and Lamb New Zealand and Ovita. It's now one more tool available to farmers wanting to improve their economics through a new entity called Beef and Lamb New Zealand Genetics. Leon Black explains. GDF9 is a fertility gene that's been marked and it looks very, very useful in terms of lifting the number of lambs. And you get one copy and it looks like a sort of, in layman's terms, a quarter of a lamb more per ewe. Two copies, you're talking half a lamb more per ewe, which is huge. You imagine going up in national lambing percentage by 50%. The economic of that's huge. The real bonus, as far as I understand GDF9, is that there is no negatives in allied production traits that we've yet seen. And uh, by getting two copies, you don't have some of the issues that some of the other fertility genes have had, which, you know, you need to test in infertility. And there is none of that to date. So growth factor nine looks like it's a very promising gene to follow, but we haven't got a huge amount in New Zealand that we know of. Basically, uh, it was a Norwegian science, but AFL's sort of R&D program put it into the chip to screen New Zealand's population to see if it was in New Zealand and three of the flocks that had it were Blackdale-based flocks and they've, um, to our best knowledge, has come through a single ewe that uh, we imported. So our SNP chip is this little thing here and it's very cutting edge technology for that the sheep industry is using in New Zealand. Each of these little squares on here has got, for example, 50,000 markers on it or SNPs or 5,000 markers, and we use this sort of technology as a tool for the breeding industry to help identify traits that are of value to the industry. So when Leon and Peter are selling to their commercial clients, the commercial client can basically select a ram that is of interest to them, where it's, where it's going to have increased production, like increased numbers of lambs born or things like that. Beef and Lamb Genetics is a new entity. We're 100% owned by Beef and Lamb New Zealand. We are an amalgamation of Sheep Improvement Limited, the Beef and Lamb New Zealand Central Progeny Test, and Ovita. And so we are an industry good entity, and basically we have a research partnership between ourselves and the government, where industry funding from Beef and Lamb New Zealand levy money is leveraged dollar for dollar with the government. So he's a user. The uh, sorry with GDF9, Currently, with the 5K chip that's available commercially by Zoetis, there are 22 production traits available. These are available for predominantly the main sheep breeds of Romney, Coopworth, Perindale, and so the traits are available for some of the breeds across those 22 traits. What we would like for Beef and Lamb New Zealand Genetics is that for a commercial farmer, when they're going to buy their rams for use on their own farm, that they've got all the information they need to understand which animals are right for their farm. They've got all the information that they need to understand how genetics are going to improve their situation. So it's all about genetics for profit for them on their farm. And having that clear and transparent information available is going to be key. Here we're taking a DNA sample. This predominantly is for the 5K chip, which I'm using at the moment and that'll give us a number of different breeding values, which would take years to get otherwise. We need progeny from the sires, and this gives us a huge advance in time, so we'll only use the stuff that tests well, and the, and the breeding values come up and the traits that I'm interested in. And for some genes, uh, like the GDF9 discovery, this is the only way to find out, you know, without seeing multiple results over many years of lammings. And um, uh, so it's, it's, it's pretty simple and straightforward. Technology's developed hugely from the old uh, test, blood test, to a tissue sample which can be retested again and again. And it's a it's huge advance in technology. These particular three rams are rams which, through the blood test, have shown to have the GDF9 fertility gene, and uh, particularly the, uh, the two tooth one, the smaller one, 571. He's uh, quite unique at the moment because he incorporates two copies of the GDF9 gene, uh, plus he's got two copies of the Texel myostatin muscling gene, and he's also got a resistant uh, foot rot score. So he's, uh, he's a pretty prized piece of property because he incorporates three things that I'm, I'm trying to incorporate in my flock. 
we're looking at how best to carry on with the GDF9. We've got 250 lambs on the ground side by the double copy and another 250 lambs side by the two single copy rams. And so there'll be some of the double copy rams that will that'll have two copies now and, and um, half of the other progeny will have a copy and other half will have missed. So the significance of the blood test is that it less, lets us right at weaning um, get a result and, and, and then isolate the ones that we carry forward and the ones that we cull. And so we can quickly um, build a flock uh, incorporating that gene. The commercial guys who want to lift, particularly the early results from your hoggett to doodle lambing, which is always a difficult one, this is uh, huge. Uh, economically, you can say, look, we can probably lift your economics 10 to 15% just straight off the bat if you incorporate GDF9. Alternatively, for the guys who have been with us a number of years and already have got a lot of fertility, uh, probably don't want to go there. So we can actually say, don't take these size. You want to focus more on growth and meat attributes uh, because you're getting enough lambs. Um, but anybody who wants to get above you know, 200% and plus, this is an option to come in and just step up. <laughs> This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.